Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, you guys know fall is here and catfish are biting. But first, we need to get some bait. So let's go. Some people say fishing for bait. It's not really fishing. Others think fishing is just fishing. I'm still not sure on where I stand on the matter. All I know is that I love catching fish regardless of what kind. Today, we are on the river searching for one of the best full catfishing baits on the planet. And I'm glad you're here. All right guys, so we made it to the spot here. Uh, we're actually in the river already. We're gonna be fishing for these bait fish. This is a really good spot to look for them. You see that little creek coming out right there on the main river. So we're gonna be using a lightweight rod. I got a Shimano Ultralight. Uh, this is a FX 2500. Just really, really, really light stuff. And then we got a Shakespeare uh, Light Pro stick. Uh, we got a Eagle Claw hook and just a little barber to the tech bites guys so we're gonna be using some cricket for bait i got cricket today here's the, the little bag of crickets that i have today i got this at the at the pet store as you can see so we're gonna be using these crickets here the water is actually pretty cold today uh it's supposed to be a warm day today but the water is actually pretty chilly nothing uncomfortable but it is kind of cold so we're looking for three to five inch bluegill shell cracker green sunfish pretty much every panfish uh, right now on fall is the best bait especially if you use them live if you're going for like channel cat i will use it as cut bait as well uh, but i like to keep them live so for that we got a bucket got a bucket right there you guys can see my bucket and i got it aerated to keep them live so i have to use them i'm be going cat fishing pretty soon here the sun is coming out which is great it was a little bit cloudy but we got some sun coming up i like that so just waiting on the river right now and uh hopefully we can catch one here it's gonna be our first cast here oh horrible cast horrible cast there we go First fish, guys. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice fish right there. Look at this. Perfect bait size. This is, I think this is a hybrid. First fish of the day, guys. Look at this fish. See that fish right there? That's the first fish. It looks like a hybrid between a green sunfish and a shell cracker. It got like the colors of the green sunfish on the on the mouth but it got that red belly and the red eyes you see the eyes beautiful fish that's a perfect size bait really really good bait right there guys so we're gonna keep this we're gonna ahead and keep this one so we're gonna take this hook out try to make very little damage to the fish just to make sure that the fish is good but we're gonna put it in our bucket here so this is gonna be our first fish in the bucket. Oh man, all, all, all this combobulated. So here you go for fresh in the bucket. Different size fish, definitely a nice fish for the first one. We're gonna be taking a few smaller ones as well, for sure. But if you can get a bunch of those, man, we're gonna be set. So now I'm sitting on this rock, guys, and I have a better angle on the spot you see that's the little creek right there coming out to the main river right here and there's a lot of rocks so that's that area right there that's exactly where those fish are sitting at so we'll go ahead and uh rebait see if we can catch a second one all right here we go see how fast this will go one two three four five six Got him. 
got him. All right, here we go. Okay, so second species, guys. This is also a great bait right here. That's the second species right there. Also a great bait right there. This is a common bluegill. Uh, come on, if it comes down, second here. That's a common bluegill. It's a juvenile. Uh, so you can see the difference between this fish and the other fish. So I'm gonna keep him. It's three inches, great bait to fish like live uh, for big blues and for flatheads. These are like candy for them. So I'm gonna keep him, especially in the fall time. And there you go. So like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, uh, bait fishing can be really, really fun. I actually enjoy it sometimes, especially when catching fish like that first fish we caught. Oh, that was quick by, that was a smaller fish. It took half of it. I'm gonna see if I can hook something else with the other half. See if something will take it. I saw it coming up. Uh, it took half of that cricket. I doubt it's gonna be taking the other half, whatever it was. It was very aggressive. Let's see. Yeah, it probably fell off. But yeah, it's that quick. It can be a little aggravated sometimes fishing with these, but it just triggers the best bites and you can catch the bigger ones on my area because they are definitely gonna compete for a nice delicious cricket, you know? And like I said, we got the, we got the fly fishing rod as well. And I got some cricket imitators that we can use if we need to. And the reason why it gets a little complicated is because I don't want to use a smaller hook. If I use a smaller hook, oh, he got it. He got it. Yeah, that's another good size bluegill. Perfect bait, guys. Perfect bait. He took it off the surface. I don't know if you guys saw that, but took it off the surface. The cricket sometimes will sit on the surface. Good bait. This ray, we're gonna run out of bait really quick. We only got three fish. They keep taking my bait, but it's, like I said, I'm using that big hook. I'm gonna be ready this time, there we go. Fish number four. That's another one of those great baits. This actually is a little better because it's a smaller, guys. I honestly don't know what these fish are called, honestly. I don't know what they're called. I know they're not just a shell cracker. I don't know what they're called. If you know exactly the name, their mouth are a little bit different. If you know the exact name of this fish, let me know down in the comments. Uh, we're gonna be keeping him. Look how beautiful this fish is. See, you see the colors? Look at those colors. This is a great, great size right here. It's probably like four or five inches. And once they get hooked, they get real hooked. We're gonna keep him. So fall is here. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Here we go. Oh, he took some drag. All right, so we got a decent bluegill here. Not giant, but it's a nice one. Definitely great for cut bait. Uh, here you go. It's definitely great for cut bait. If it was a little bit bigger, he'd be ready to get eaten. But definitely a good bait right there best bluegill the nicest bluegill we got so far uh, i'm gonna go ahead and keep this fish probably gonna be keeping like a dozen or so we don't need a lot but we definitely need some for we're gonna be using a few live for my next cat fishing trip and then i'm gonna freeze a few so we can use them later on down the line because when it starts getting cold and winter comes it's a little bit more difficult to get some bait so i can freeze some of these and i can use them on winter for catfishing obviously i'm gonna try to keep him alive until i freeze him that way they stay fresh uh, because you know the best bait is the fresh bait so keeping this one as well all right going back with your friends there that fish actually took some drag and he went right under that rock right there so pretty exciting stuff this doesn't take long sometimes especially if you know where those fish are Uh, got one No, nothing crazy. It's a good good bait size And the can pushing the barber that way with the with the bait it gives them a natural presentation So this should be a good good spot for the flat fishing rod oh, Here we go 
That one, that one got it. Funny. Look at that one. That one doesn't even have it on his mouth, but definitely a good, good base size. We got it on the gill. Oh man. Well, never here you go. It's gone. That was a smart one. So he deserves to leave. He deserves to not be bait. You can get a few crickets at the pet store and come get you a mess of bait. Uh, look at the creeks, look at the rivers, uh, small spillways, even shorelines. There's always bluegill on those areas. Now, as far as those shell crackers slash green sunfish slash pumpkin seed, I'm not 100% sure which one is it. I don't know if you can find it anywhere. I know that I have a few here. That's why I came over here on this river. I know this river has some of those fish here, but uh, I'm not 100% sure you can find it anywhere. You probably have to look for a creek or river. Whoa, it's trying to get it. You see, they're trying to get it. They're trying to get it. It's just floating on the surface for some reason. Oh, didn't get it. Missed it. Missed it. So three times they try to get it and they missed it. So once it leaves the area, then they're going to get it. So sometimes the cricket is going to sit on the surface and they're going to hit it on the surface like a top water. Kind of like fishing top water for bass, but in like really small scale, which is still fun though. Still really fun. So now the second time the cricket was wet, so it went, it went and submerged. But I can still see it. It might be going a little bit too fast and maybe the the uh, the line is getting pulled by the current faster than it should so that's why they're not hitting it that's a decent one that is a decent one there we go that's another one of the ones we need right there guys look at that that's what we're looking for right there that's what we're looking for right there the thing is that you want to keep it natural and i like it how the water flows it takes the bait here we go there we go that's just another bluegill right there though not bad it's going on the bucket as well you know what i don't feel like going back over there so i'm gonna let him go it's just a bluegill perfect size for bait but he gets to live today Here's another little bluegill. Another little bluegill. He looks sickly too, so we're gonna let him go. He got something going on. So he got something going on right there. Yeah, we don't want to mess with him. So. guys so running to we got the last little bit of the crickets here and I put two of them see if I can pull a big one out not sure if it's gonna work cow hopefully they don't fall off we'll see definitely sitting a little bit deeper there got him got him that's a that's a decent one that's a decent one See what it is oh yeah that's what we need right there wow that's the biggest one of the day guys look at this fish man that's the biggest one the biggest fish of the day so let's see how how many casts it's gonna take for them to take my cricket or for us to catch fish there we go third time is the charm and there's one of those as well guys look at that look at those colors man look at that orange and look at the tail the tail is red 
Isn't that crazy? They got a little bit of red on the top here too. Right where my finger is. But look at that. The eyes are like red, red. You can't really tell on the camera, but they're like bright red. So it's going on the bucket. That was our last cricket and it was, it hit, we made a count. So and it goes. This is the second setup we're going to be using. We ran out of crickets, but we're going to be using the fly fishing rod. This is just a cheap check spear from Walmart fly series. Nothing fancy. And I got just a little fly right there. See that? This is a little bigger fly. I'm going to give it a go. If we don't catch anything, we're going to move to a smaller fly. So I got smaller flies uh, and some that resemble crickets as well. So we're going to just give it a go. This can be really fun, but I'm not the best fly fishing fisherman out there, but I can hold my own. So we'll see. I'm going to go in the water and see if I, if I can get something to bite on this fly fishing rod. All right guys, the first one on the fly. Nice little bait size right there. Super fun to see him bust out of the water, eat that little fly. And fighting on the fly fishing rod, it's a little different, but still really, really fun. To just see him bust out of the water and getting it. Can you imagine if you catch a gigantic fish on a fly? That would be amazing. So I'm gonna be trying to do some bass fishing with the fly fishing rod coming up here. So stay tuned for that video, but we're keeping this fish good bait the right species we're gonna keep fishing all right guys so way back to the truck let me show you what we're gonna be doing so got a fish here show you the type of fish we got here look at this i'm gonna pull one out look at this fish great bait cut bait light bait for flathead these are you can't beat that bait so we got a bunch of them in there so we're going ahead and throw this bubbler in there to keep them alive so this thing I got from the aquarium and I adapted to the bubbler. Uh, this is like a 10 box bubbler from Walmart, but it works really well. You can hear it and you can see the bubbles in there. That's gonna keep the fish alive and we're all set right there. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for me. If you can find those fish, green sunfish, bluegill, shell crackers, any hybrid from all those, it was a great bait for fall catfishing. We were stocked up on bait. Uh, I'm gonna be catfishing pretty soon here. So we're gonna put some in the freezer. We're gonna keep some alive and we're gonna go catch those big catfish. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, don't forget I got a bunch of other videos about catfishing, fishing in general, and just hit that right there, guys. Just subscribe. Subscribe guys, see you guys in the next one.